Today we're gonna to be building a giant reef inside of our saltwater pond to finally get it ready for water and fish. We're gonna be adding sand, we're gonna be placing our rocks inside the pond and building a rock structure that looks like it's from the Great Barrier Reef. Last video we bought 15 boxes of instant ocean for our salt water. We bought hundreds of pounds of rock for the reef structure. We spent a lot of dough, but we ain't done. We gotta get all of our sand and build this thing from the ground up. Now this is our $15,000 pond with a giant glass window in the front, and we're gonna be lifting 200 pound rocks over this thing and into the pond. So any, any single mistake can crack this, and there goes everything. So we gotta be extremely careful, start with step one, and slowly build this thing to be the best pond ever. One of my favorite aisles, smell that wood. We've made it to the sand section. Why are you yelling? Because I don't care about anyone in here. <laughs> Seriously, I, my I experience I'm started so terribly, so terribly in this Home Depot. I'm tired of this town. I'm, I'm moving north. So all you people living in North Florida, maybe Southern Georgia Fish might be your neighbor. How many of these? This is just gonna be a very small, small layer. We're gonna just have a small layer of regular sand. Our biggest, thickest layer it's gonna be the more expensive stuff, way more expensive. This is just the, the base layer. Then we're doing a bunch of crushed coral, a lot of crushed coral on the top layer. Might so even mix it. We we're gonna see, we we're gonna see what it. happens. The fish will brush it and stuff will so happen. Something light for now, and then a crushed coral. Okay, was there two different colors of play sand? Like a brown and a white? I thought it was more white. This is our options, man. That looks more white, right? South Florida sucks. Jacksonville, we're it's coming. It's just a bunch of stuck up people, man. Yeah, a lot of assholes around here, these parts. The fish guys? Not yeah, everyone. I, when are we rude to people? Never. never. I would never be rude to somebody because I am a stand up gentleman. I wouldn't walk in and someone say, even looking like this. Sand check. Ooh. Definitely a different color here. Definitely two different types of colors here. A little thicker sand, a little thinner. This is much more white, this is much darker. Obviously, I think we want to go with the lighter stuff, but Wait. does this turn into cement? No, dude, it does not turn into cement. Does it say cement on it? No, but that brand, well, I guess this is Sacrete too. I think that's enough. Yeah. One more for good luck. Sure. This is just our base layer, and then we got to put the crushed coral. Sand check. We already got the rock, we got crushed coral in the mail on its way. We got salt. That's the most important part. That was my uh, way down. My buddy pulled the ladder, kept me on the roof. Yep. Okay. Do not underestimate the power of the crushed coral. <laughs> we might not we, we might not even use all the sand. We're just getting it just for insurance, but we're probably not gonna use all the sand. We'll see. We'll see. We'll take, see. It, take it, take it. I take have it a feeling that crushed coral is gonna be beautiful. Time to load up in this beautiful weather, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 19 mile an hour wind, 67 degrees. It feels like a freaking so damn good, man. It, do, it does feel good. Just unbelievable. Just, just, if you would just- Thank you, right here, turn. Why do you still have our inflatable boat from a month ago in the car? It's the best boat ever. If you guys haven't seen that video and you didn't watch it, you're nuts. That video was hilarious. All I want to do is strengthen the core to get more power on the golf swing. Keep that head down. Behi shoulder behind the ball, head down, <clears throat> pure. Welcome home, happy people. We got 660 oh, pounds shit. of nice fine sand, minus this one pound that we just lost here. So 659 pounds, plus some crushed coral in route to the cribbo. We're literally just gonna get to this. Yeah. We're literally just gonna get to building this reef. First step is going to be the giant boulders that we got. We gotta put those in the pond because you wanna put it under the sand. If you get predators like eels and stuff, you put the sand and then the rock, the predators get in there, move that around. Here cannot, it comes. Here comes tumbling down the giant rock structure. We need to make sure it's sturdy. So step one, get those big boulders in, then we can add the sand and the smaller rock and the water and the crushed coral. Step one, we gotta get these rocks in the pond and really figure out a nice, awesome reef. What? We have to rinse these down. We do. Are you serious? They're black. This one is a different, a full gray, a shade of gray, and this is white. Who's, who, who gave me this glove? I did. <laughs> I did like that one. We're two, garage, right? Floor, driveway. Oh, yeah. We're gonna build a nice structure here. This is where you gotta get crafty. This is where you gotta really dig deep, find your inner creativity and build something nice, because once it's glued, she's glued. Christmas. Might not look pretty, but it's the most effective use of momentum. 
possible. Time to hose, get these things cleaned, polished, sparked. So we wanted to rinse all these rocks thoroughly because, you know, there's a lot of mud in there, some dirt. We got this from a landscape place. So, you know, sitting outside, getting all that dirt in there, it's good to give it a nice rinse, clean it up so it makes it look nice and clean. So let's get to building the Epic Reef. It's time to get into the pond and start building our rock structure. We have a ton of ideas. We don't even know where to start. We're thinking, you know, maybe build it all over here, then leave this side kind of open for the free swimmers. So big reef and then like kind of some smaller rock over here. We had the whole thing of the other pond with the big rock structure in the middle. I kind of just want it to be on one end and then have a big space over here on the other end. So uh, we can get some giant fish that can swim around and have a ton of room, okay? And we can always get more rock. So if we want a big reef over here and another one over here, we can always add that. So let's just see how much rock we actually have. See if it looks any good. Time to get to heavy lifting. Like a fish guy. Come on. I'm a little bit worried about this. Just a wee bit. Wait, wait, we're going here, right? <clears throat> Do not let it drop in the pond at all costs. Get in there. I thought you were getting in. Okay. Isn't that what you said? Oh my God, I'm so nervous. I thought you were getting in and I was handing to you. Okay. You're gonna be able to take this? I'm so worried about this. You want me to get in? $15,000 I'm holding in my hand. You want me to get in? You should get in. I think it might actually be, make more sense to, to, to go like this, real. To go like what? To come towards me. And I'm in there too. And you're in here. Then so gonna... we can get a nice soft. That's it. My water shoes are wet. Why are you wearing socks? It's just gonna bleed into the shoe. These socks are exposed. <gasps> my foot is dry. Oh my God. <laughs> my feet are dry. Can you feel the coldness? <laughs> no. Cause I'm yes! This is the best shoes ever. I can wear my socks to the beach. I can wear my shoes to the beach. My foot is dry. Just letting everyone know that I'm in the water. Chris, I'm so f***ing worried. Okay, ready? ready? I'm barefoot, by the way. So just watch my toes. Okay, ready? Three, two. Okay, we got it. Jesus Christ. Where oh, to? Hold on. Just calm down. Slowly put her in. How's she look, Brooke? Can you slap that rock for me one time? I well, I'm just excited because all the rocks we got have a bunch of little holes, caves, some crevasses for these fish to go in. And we could, really, we could have thousands of fish in this pond, thousands. I'm really, really thinking, and I want your all's opinion as to what fish you guys think we should add first. Obviously the predator should go last, but should we get like a big angel? I want a big ass freaking queen angel. I'm not talking small, I'm talking show size. This is a big fucking rock. This is gonna go so bad. Come here, Bethesda. I can go in. Where is she? No, I'm gonna go in. I got her. God, you're such a baby. I got her. I got her, big girl. It's like a 13. Mwah. I got her. 13 pound rock. Oh my God, it's caught, it's caught on my jacket. Get, it's caught here. on, the, it's ripping the jacket. Come here, come here. I got it. It got stuck in the hole in the hoodie. Don't drop that rock. <laughs> my God. It's like fucking Velcro. Jack. What do you want me to do? Grab it. I'm getting I'm in. I'm stuck. Stay there. I'm stuck. Stuck Stay in my- Stay there. We got a big baby alert. It's a Velcro. Pull it off me. Let go. Pull Let it go. off my hoodie. Thank Take you. the hoodie off. It's clearly a freaking liability. Got a couple holes. Look at that. You guys think I'm lying? Look at this. Totally ripped it. Was never going to get there. Save the second. Rip this pocket off. She made it. This pond's gonna be done right. It's gonna take time. That's why we're taking you guys through each step of the process. We want you guys, we want your, there's a lot of you guys out there that know more than we do and we wanna know exactly what you guys think you recommend us doing and how we should build this. So please, if you have any advice, leave it down below in the comments. Come here, big girl. Got her! Got her! Watch that piece, that's She's not- She's got a nice handle on her. trustworthy, dude. Got her, easy. Three, how many more we got? Three more. Does it, it look like a lot of rock or not really? Thank God. These are lighter. I was so nervous. Wait! Oh my God, my gloves. This is I took my gloves off. <laughs> oh yeah. Don't be a baby. Put the gloves back oh. on. You just slammed the rock into the, no, I didn't. the pond. I'm sure everyone's heart's beating a million miles per hour watching me carry that. Nice job. Woo! That is all the rock we have minus every single solitary rock we had from last pond which is a freaking lot, but this is obviously gonna be our structure. Then we're gonna use all the other rock as like 
to accessorize, if you will. Now that we have all the big rock in, we're gonna try to like organize where we want the rock. So the smaller ones are gonna go over to the right and the big boulders that we kind of want to hide are gonna go in the back. Like this one, the biggest rock that we have, it's right here. It's kind of not, it's not my favorite rock. It's a little dark, but that one we want in the way back and we're gonna hide it with a bunch of the pretty rock that we have over there. So it's gonna look a lot That's a, a, a specimen. This is a great rock. No, the other side, the, the other, other side is really nice. Specimen. So this is our general idea. This isn't exact, this is just an idea. We're thinking of building the rock structure in this like the right side of the pond in the corner here and then a bunch of space and the rocks will like trickle out. So it'll be a tall cave here and then they'll trickle out in the corner. This isn't gonna be exact, but this is what we're starting with. Just getting the ideas flowing. This is scaping on a whole nother level. Whole nother level. It's starting to get suspect now, ladies and gentlemen. This is where things get a little sketchy. Get it sturdy, dude. I mean, it's pretty, like it just got my ass wet, absorbed in through the underwear. So look, we got a little, we got a nice, we got a nice little rock here, but we have a very, very flat edge here, which is where we're gonna come in with the coral glue and put a nice fat rock right there to make it look like it's just not a flat piece. Not a flat rock. You know, piece of rock. There's our first cave right there. Gotta keep going. We're running out of pieces here. We are running out of pieces. Let's keep going. It's, it, you're, you're literally on a peak of an iceberg over here that's holding it. God, this is so sick. Look at this one. Look at this tip of the iceberg right here. Guys, I don't think that's likable. I think that's gonna go down. Jack, push, I, this, push this rock in. Which rock? This one. I'm worried about this rock going down. What? I don't know. It's because it's got that one leaning on it a little. I'm gonna need this closer. Talk to me. This? I mean, wait, wait, wait. There you go, rotate it. Right in there, right I in mean, there. Where do we want this? Right in there, 46. This is so sketch. What is it? Oh God, I just saw it move, guys. It's settling. No, I'm seeing that one on the right move. This might all fall right now. Okay, wait. Yeah. <sighs> hold the rocks. Hold the rocks. Are you hold serious? Come from behind and you need to hold these rocks. They're falling. Oh God, it's going down. Can you back up? No. Wait, don't move. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got this, I got this, I got this rock. I got this rock. I got this rock. I got this rock. That was almost it. I'm not liking this at all. It's not sturdy. It's not sturdy. I cannot believe I'm barefoot. Mom, I'm sorry. There you go. That's gonna stay really well. Yeah, that's, that's not gonna go anywhere. Oh my God. These two have become one. Mm -hmm. See, I found it a joint. It takes time, folks. It takes time. Rome wasn't built in a day. This little Rome of a Rome. Oh! <laughs> that was almost it. What was that that just shifted, by the way? The, your, your rock okay. is a nightmare. Okay, this one's gotta go. Look at my rock, it looks like a one rock. Who, who told you to put it there? The contractor. That's what I was aiming I'm the contractor. I was aiming toward that. No, he wasn't. Time. Looks kind of fire. It looks actually really good. Especially once we get the other rocks that's out there. Then we can really start building off this. I don't like this rock because I love how this looks like a peak. Time out. What if we coral glued, we leave this here, leave this divot down, and we built this end up. Then I think it would look good. Put that one over here, put that one here. Give it a little more. Yeah, no, it's good. That's like a cliff right there, bro. Okay, so that, like you're clay. telling me like that's where I want to pull my planter, right yeah, there on that right drop there. off. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Got you. That actually looks really good. I think I think I think I think we actually might have crushed this. Ladies and gents, welcome back to day number I don't even know of this pond build. It is officially time that we get most of this water out and all this leftover debris. We did the absolute best we could with the pump, and uh, unfortunately. You know, we got all this stuff still in here. So we want this thing to be spotless because we're about to lay some sand today. So what we had to bring into the, uh, to the project here is this four gallon, five peak horsepower, absolute workhorse of a machine here that actually I use to suck out the AC as well as Fish Guy Chris. We use it to suck the AC out whenever we don't have AC, but we're gonna use it today in a Fish Guy project. I already tried to suck it up from there, but it didn't have enough horsepower to get it up. Watch this. You guys see this cluster right there? Sayonara. Wow. That's called five peak horsepower. This is gonna take a hot minute, but guess what? We want this pond to look perfect and we gotta have all this shit out of here, all of it. Check out the power on this device right here. This tool, what a specimen, watch this. Got a filler and to go straight up with it, otherwise it's gonna pour back out. I mean, it definitely, we're definitely- like, look at that. We could easily get, if we wanted to, every single grain of sand out of there. Four gallons at a time. We have literally about, what would you say? Seven and a half seconds to, to, 
to suck. Maybe less, dude. This thing is a four gallon sucker. I highly recommend getting a higher gallonage per suck. Lift it. Mother Hold oh, on, Jack, rock. Are we gonna scratch it? Keep going, keep going, let me see. No, you're good. We got all of our rock. This is our decorative rock. The big boulders are for obviously the structure. Now we get to do honestly a really fun part of decorating the reef. Now we read your all's comments. A lot of you guys recommended some uh, structure glue, some rock cement. So yes, this sir. stuff right here is actually gonna hold our rock structure into place. Now we should have done this originally with pots and pans because as you guys saw over the course of time, we Crumbled. slowly lost a rock almost Every day, one rock would just fall. Yep. But now if we glue it all together. Shouldn't fall. Shouldn't fall. Oh, it would be harder to fall. Much, much, yes, much yeah. harder. I don't think this is meant for giant boulders, bro. We're gonna get to work here. I think from the directions, you just take off a piece like this. Need. Need it. If I'm using pieces this big, we're gonna run out in two seconds. Fill the nooks and crannies like I'm doing. Look, I just filled this whole cranny here. Okay. And that should harden and at least be a point of contact. Yeah, it needs to be a nice point of, you know, hey, I'm here. Like when a bear comes and you say, hey bear, I'm here. I'm here, bear. I'm here, bear. Hey, bear. That's what this cement glue is. Hey, bear. Hey, bear. Maybe drag this out to like here. Have a big like U. Yeah, that'd be sick. Okay. Let's build. Let's fucking build. Let's make it look fucking good. This is really make or break your aquarium. So just realize that. That's one rock we just did in five minutes. It doesn't come up with either. It stays on him. Check out the rock structure, what we have right now. So we have a lot of rock left. This is why we're doing videos like this. We want you guys to be part of the process. We have a lot of rock left, but the structure looks really, really good. And our thought is we don't wanna bring it too far to the right because we wanna get, you know, baby blue dot stingrays, uh, some smaller stingrays in for this pond. So we want them to have plenty of sand. So you guys are gonna comment down below, let us know if you think we should continue on and just add the rest of this rock. I think it's perfect. If we do too much, it's just gonna be, you know, it's just gonna look dumb if we do too much, in my opinion. But if you guys wanna see more rock, we'll make it happen. We have a big cave in the middle there, lots of places for the fish to hide, and then on the right side, we're just doing open space for those stingrays, maybe small sharks, and a bunch of uh, free swimmers to just swim on the right side of the pond. I think it looks 20 million times better than that monstrosity we had in the beginning. It looks great. It's time for the sand. I'm a little nervous, but we're gonna go with it. We're only gonna put a little bit in. We got a, ba a bunch of crushed coral coming to the house. That's the most important part. This is just the base layer. Then we're gonna get that crushed coral and it's gonna look amazing. Passer. <sighs> what do you think the best strat is of this? I think you get all around that rock. That's what you want the Can most Can I put sand. this down? I guess. Now we put the rocks in first, just in case we get you know eels or things I like to dig underneath the rocks because if we put the sand first and then the rocks on top and the eel goes on and digs, creates a hole, the whole thing's gonna crumble. So that's why we put the rocks first and we're gonna put the sand all around the rock. Oh my God, just saved our structure. Cat-like reflex is always engaged. But yeah, we're gonna lay this sand right inside of all this here. Try to get like a preferably about a two inch layer, about like that. So if fish does swim by and kicks them up, you know, we're not gonna see the bottom of the pond, but obviously there's really no controlling it. It's gonna look great now, but once fish go inside water, all that starts going, the fish are gonna do what they wanna do with it. This is their home, bro. They can do what they want. If they wanna decorate, they can decorate. Let's start here. Watch that rock structure, Jack. I'm going in. Oh, oh my gosh. It's gonna be a milk fest. No. Is it really? Guys, is it dirty and does it need to be rinsed? I think it needs rinse. I think it needs rinse. I don't think that's good sand. We cannot use that. Suck it. Take this bag, Joe. Suck it. All right, folks, we're going back to Home Depot. That is like, dude. What? Dude. Dude. <laughs> You're a f asshole. That is literally like pouring dust into your aquarium. I mean, we have, I poured not even a tenth of that bag, and it's it's a it's a cloud fest. All right, let's, I guess let's like wait for it to settle. Let's see what happens. No. Uh, Chris, it's literally mud. Looks like ass. Get it out. All right, give me the sucker. Go for it. Let's say we freaking upgraded. Take a look at this bad boy right here. This thing has officially saved our lives. Saved us 
realistically probably two days of work because if you look at the pond we're pretty much on dry land other than the hose that we try to turn on that's not working we at the moment. We did not like the sand that we put in here. Okay. We got all the sand, all that debris that was on here. We have a blue bottom, like yeah. literally a blue bottom, a gorgeous rock structure. We put those sand, that sand in there and we hated it. It looked like mud, looked like black tar. No thank you, no thank you. We kind of panicked at that point. We got back in our little machine right here, tried to suck it up, and then my worker at the house, shout out Don, he's the man, he's, he has one of these upstairs. So he gave us this, so we decided to suck everything out of this pond, and look how good it looks now. It's literally dry. We can get every speck like this, we can get everything out of the pond. Everything, this is the best it's looked. So now this gives us the opportunity to go Brand new, literally brand new pond. Clean it up, put the sand in without there being that milky, you know, couple inches of water. And then we could add the water with the sand already in there. But I think I want to live in this pond. We're returning that sand, dude, it sucks. I know we said we were gonna put the sand in today, but now that we look at the sand, our crushed coral isn't even here yet. We're gonna wait to get our crushed coral and we're gonna get the sand from an aquarium store and do it like that. So 10 bags, 10 bags, is gonna be way more expensive, but it's gonna do it. We're gonna be doing it the right way. It's gonna look a lot better than uh, what we just put in here because that was bad. So we at least built our reef right here where our fish are gonna be swimming out of in and out of it. I think it looks amazing. Remember, let us know if you guys think we should add another reef here. I think there's pros and cons. We can add another reef here, but then that stingray that we get, those couple stingrays are not gonna be able to swim as much, you know? So it's up to you guys. You can either add one here, because we have plenty of rock, or we leave it the way it is and just have sand bare bottom over here. Definitely a lot of good, good options. We're gonna add the sand in the next video, but we built our reef. I cannot wait to start adding fish in here. It's gonna be epic. See you guys in the next one. Peace.